So the other night, Jill made mashed potatoes and gravy, and she made about double what we need or some extra, and we took the remainder and put it in the freeze dryer so that we would have a meal whenever we need it. And we haven't rehydrated much, so we are experimenting right now with rehydrating meals. So we have got our mashed potatoes and gravy in mylar bags. What's this one? That one is gravy. gravy. And does somebody know where the mashed potatoes are? There's the mashed, mashed potatoes. Potato. And we are going to rehydrate them for you. And we are gonna do an uh, experiment with half to figure out what the ratios are. And then we're gonna confirm it by doing that on the second half and see if we can get it right the first time. And then you'll have some useful information if you're doing rehydrating of mashed potatoes or gravy, and you'll kind of know where to start. And for us, we'll know where to do it, how to do it in the future and uh, get it right, right away without having to guess and wreck a whole bunch of food. This is the mashed potatoes we're cutting open. I'm really curious to see what these look like actually, because they felt seen... really funny. They feel funny in the package, don't they? Mm -hmm. They feel almost like, um, like a foam. That's why I was just... Okay, so there was an oxygen absorber in there we need to take out. Okay. All right. So I just want to feel this actually. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> it is very, um, they're very brittle. That's, oh, that's like, it's like, um, it is kind of like that sand a little bit like a... Here, I'm gonna actually a, just move this right here. It's for like a a, if you squished it, you, it would squeeze into a dough. Right? Yeah, it totally does. Okay, well, well not too much, not too much. We don't want to wreck it. <laughs> we don't want to wreck it for the hydrating. It, uh, yeah, it's a little bit like sand, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take about half of that. What does it taste like? Mm. Mashed potato. Does it taste like mashed potatoes? Tastes like mashed potatoes. It smells like mashed potatoes. I might actually just need to taste it. Because... And these mashed potatoes. What really did? Really fun. I, uh... What did you put in these mashed potatoes? Oh, just potatoes and butter and salt. Okay, so this is there's butter and salt in these ones. Okay. So very simple mashed potato, traditional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feels like mashed. Oh, potato. and milk. And milk. I thought milk. Okay. Milk. Sorry. So we've got about 50-50. We'll set the one aside to rehydrate later once we've confirmed our amounts. And we have... I, I'm trying to think as far as how much. I think that's probably pretty close to a cup. Do you want to measure it out? I should measure it just to be safe after you just got it all split in. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's almost exactly just, a cup. Just a little bit under a cup. Okay, and I, this one I really want to start off small because I feel like it will rehydrate really fast. You don't need that same penetration. Like with the chili, we want to penetrate the beans. Yes. But this you really do not want too watery. So we're just going to start with an eighth a cup. Can I pour it in? All right. Here so it comes. one eighth a cup of boiling water. It's very hot. Ready? Pour it in. Okay. Oh. I want to make it. It's so interesting when you pour it in and kind of like how it just shrinks in around. Okay, so we're not going to move it. Okay, how's that looking? Do we need more yeah, in there yet? Yeah, we do. Okay, pour it in. Careful, careful. So we've got a quarter cup of water for just under a cup of potatoes. Stir that up. How's that looking? What I like about these is these are like more instant. They don't have to sit. Like the chili had to sit because it had the beans, so it had to, yeah. needed time. Like the meat was fine, but it needed time. To I it. think. Whereas this is that um, this is instant mashed potatoes. <laughs> instant mashed potatoes. I feel like we could do just a little bit more. It's still. You're tasting bit. some on it. Mm -hmm. How does I feel it like feel? It's just a little. It's almost there. I just feel like it could use just a touch more water. It's still a little too comfortable. Take care, careful, careful. Don't be Okay. Okay. Stir that up. Now that's looking a little better, hey? Oh, so that was easy. Like, um, that was so easy to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not quite like mashed potatoes, but I'm That's just because you're missing the gravy. That's the only problem. You're going to feel it? Does it feel like mashed potatoes now? <laughs> yeah. Are, we gonna, you gonna taste test are we gonna taste it? Taste test it. Tell us if it tastes like mashed potatoes. Now. It doesn't taste like mashed potatoes? What does it taste no, like? No, not without. Does it taste like broccoli? It 
taste like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling our leg. Okay, let's try, um, is there another spoon? Right here. Let's just yeah. try putting this out on a plate Put for our there. gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, you're like sculpting a volcano. I'm sculpting a volcano so we can do maximum mm -hmm. gravy. Yeah. Roughly one cup, and once again, it's, mm -hmm. okay, so, but this time it's closer to one so, in four. Yeah, so it was a little over a quarter cup, right? So we had just under half a cup and we did a little over a quarter cup of for, water. For, for a cup, for a full cup of... Mommy will help you hold the cake right? if it's hot. Or Daddy's going to do it. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, stop. Okay. Okay. I want to do it. Help Daddy. So it's more like, yeah. I would think a good place to start with mashed potatoes is kind of a one in four. So like <laughs> a cup of mashed potatoes to a quarter cup of water and then you can adjust it a little bit just because you don't want soupy mashed potatoes. Yeah. Okay, well, this is a definitely a big hit for the kids. Yeah. They like okay, this so a lot. that went together really fast. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's He's about right. It. We're gonna make another volcano over here. And then we're gonna try our gravy. <laughs> I like mashed potatoes. You like the mashed potato? I've noticed you like the mashed potato. They <laughs> well, I don't think you like it as much as me because I'm dancing. Okay, so. Two open? volcanoes. I kind of almost want to try this summer going camping and do a mashed potato, like a chicken dinner or something. Chicken dinner. Braised yeah. dried over the campfire. That'd be kind of. That'd be super fun. And a cast iron skillet. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So stuff, that's the stuff magazines are made out of. All right, so. I want to pour for mine. Okay, so this is gonna be small. Like I'm thinking start 16th of a cup because okay. I think we have maybe a quarter cup. Okay, so you hold that there. So a 16th of a cup would still be a quarter So we're cup. gonna try, this is a one. One to four ratio. This is a one eighth of a cup. I don't and know. how much, sorry, how much did you say this was? I think it's about a quarter of a, a cup. A quarter cup, so you're drawing a one to eight. Ratio. Okay, a one to four ratio is what we're starting with. So half of the, oh, that's probably a little bit more, but that's okay. Put it right on top. Let's we'll see, see what happens. See them melt. Taking your time, Kate. Oh yeah, that's already getting a little bit of gelatin. -like. The container is almost maybe a little big. Yeah, you could do something smaller for sure. Yeah, squish it down. We don't want it too thick, so it still has lots of. You know what we might do with the next one is we might turn it into a powder first. first that, yeah, that would make a lot of sense actually, yeah. It's a little bit harder to get it when you're... Uh... Well, good thing we have two. <laughs> good thing we have two, yeah. To see which one turns open. I could see doing just a little bit more, like um, another, just, just a little. <laughs> A little bit more water. Do you think I feel it's like, like it's a sixteenth or like a teaspoon? Or a... Yeah, like a teaspoon. Let's just do teaspoons at a time right now. Okay, I'm just gonna use this real quick. Cause it's a little bit. Uh, a sixteenth of a cup is a tablespoon, right? Yeah. So we did a tablespoon and then we did a teaspoon in here. So my biggest thing with this is I would definitely say I think you should powder it first, just because. Um, It'd just be a lot easier to mix. Because I, you just don't want to take a chance that you're gonna get. A chunk of gravy not mixed in. Here I comes mean. the lava. Yeah, almost like I could have a little bit more even because it's a pretty I thick gravy. That. Depends how thick you want your gravy. Yeah, I wonder about trying a full eight. Oh, eight. So two, two tablespoons. We did a tablespoon and a teaspoon. This time we're going to try two tablespoons. Yeah, and the ratio would be what? Not uh, an eighth to a quarter, so one to two. Here comes the lava. Mommy, watch for it. Making me do a lot of math here. And, um, Mommy, the lava. Hopefully, I got it right. If I, if I don't yield. Mommy, the lava's going down. Oh, there goes the lava. Okay. Here it comes. That's a perfect amount of gravy for that. Okay. All right, so let's move this off to the side. I'm going to put this in here. Mm hmm. So that's, once again, that's a, what did you say? About a quarter cup. Quarter cup? 
We're gonna mash yours. <laughs> I just, I just. It's just it, mushy. <laughs> just put a hole in it. It's soft. It's not like it's not hard. Almost right. It's just, maybe you can't really. Okay, there's. I was thinking like a mortar and pestle would work. Mm. Yeah, you just end up stuck sticking to your. Yeah. Like if you were doing a lot, I think you could just put it in your blender or. Would probably be one of the fastest. Right, just put water and then that and blend it. Well, no, no. Uh, yeah, you could do that. I meant as far as before you oh. put it in your mylar, you could just. Alrighty, so let's do a full eighth. I feel like this is going to be a little bit too high of a ratio, but. Okay, stir up your gravy, buddy. Yeah, that's that's uh, definitely stirring a lot better. I was gonna say, like, honestly, if you have extra gravy from a meal, you just freeze dry and then it makes it really instant. But whoever has yeah, who, extra gravy from a meal. Whoever has extra gravy from a meal. I freeze dry it. Okay. Oh, that's looking really good. So, like now, pour it in that. Gonna... Pour it in the second one. Oh, no, that's actually not, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So what was that ratio again? It was a one to two. So a one to two ratio for gravy is what we're what we're seeing there. Oh yeah, that's a much. Whoa, look at that volcano. Oof. You guys want to taste right. test that? that uh, Who's going to taste test it? Me. There you go. Man, dive in. All right, who's going to, you're going to taste test it a little bit, Trevlin? Taste Trevlin? test it. See what yours tastes like. See how it tastes. Thanks. Mix it in a little bit. What does it taste like? What do you think, Trevlin? I think you think it's it's pretty good, hey? Because you just keep eating it. Smell right. No, I'm super happy with how that turned out. That was a that was a really good rehydration. That this summer we're gonna go camping and we're gonna do a chicken dinner. Mm -hmm. Freeze dried chicken dinner. We're gonna try it out. Yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. a good. Yeah, I think that's a winner. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. But I forgot the peas. Forgot the peas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and chicken. What thing, what do you think we should do next? You had something you wanted to do, Trevlin. What did you want to do? Beef strips. Beef strips. <laughs> right here. So we're going to try this in the next video. So if you're interested in that, check out our next video.